Okay, um, next, let's talk about the H-channel stuff for a minute. The piece of it in my hand here, and if you can see it on edge, you can see that they call it the letter H. You've got a center supporting groove, and you have the two tight things you're going to fit in. What you have to do is we're going to make it so that there's just enough to get it on there when you slide it onto the next piece, and we're going to put it back together again to the original mark, you'll have the expansion gap will still be left inside. That's super important. You'll have your expansion gap inside. You'll have enough to ensure a good seal. First thing you have to do is you're going to take a piece of the H channel and you're going to fit it to the sheet that you're installing. It kind of makes things easier. If you're okay, if you're right-handed, <laughs> if you're right-handed, put it on the right-hand sheet. Yeah, if you're right-handed, put it on the right-hand sheet. It's just going to make it easier handling the tools. But you watch the video, you be the judge. The next thing I'm going to do with this sheet, because I've just tapped it on, and you're going to need a hammer for this. Um, I recommend something light with a soft face for tapping this on, because you want to tap it on all the way. So I use a small dead blow hammer. If I had my way, I'd be using a leather mallet, but I don't have one. But um, whatever you do, be gentle. And you're going to slide this on, and you're going to tap it till this is in all the way. That's kind of like a big deal. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to position the piece where you want it vertically, and you're going to line it up so that this edge just touches. Doesn't go under, just touches the sheet that you're joining it to. The other thing is on the sheet that you're joining it to, you don't want any screws on the half of the sheet that you're going to be attaching it to because you're going to be pulling that out so you can work with it. So when you put this sheet up, this one up, you want to tack it up with screws to hold it in place. And you only want those screws to be over on the opposite side so that you can pull these two sheets away from the wall a little bit to work in there. Might as well bring it up now. Where did I put them? You're going to need two other tools. You need that little hammer. I have found that a, 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 screen, a screen tool, a spline tool, is very handy. And you're going to want um, a rigid paint scraper. Now if you've got really sharp edges, I'd say take a file and take those super sharp edges off. These are just worn enough that they'll do no harm if you handle it properly. But you'll need these two specially made custom tools and you'll see why I think FarmTech could stand to make a tool to do this once we get going. But you'll need these and a small hammer to make it work. Now I'm going to go put that piece of uh, material back up and get it in position.